How to Become a Millionaire, according to Barbara Corcoran, one of the sharks on Shark Tank. Let's take a look at what she said. How what would you tell a 20-year-old who wants to become a millionaire? They ask you, Barbara, what's the fastest way to become a millionaire? I'd say take the money out of the equation and focus on one thing only. Try to find something you do very, very well. And then practice the hell out of it until you become very, very, very good at it. And then you don't have competition. You're mm -hmm. going to be the top of your heap, whatever that heap is. And money automatically comes with being the top. You know, I was just listening to a TikTok this morning. said, if you just focus 20 minutes a day on a new craft and a new skill, you do it every day, every day, every day, every day for 20 minutes, you're going to be in the top 95% of that category, of that, of that genre, because you're starting to master it. You know, when, when people are in our office and they're coming to our office on Tuesdays and Saturdays, Monday morning phone zones, closeouts, end of the month, mid-month closeouts, we have, we have a training event next week, uh, uh, May 10th to the, 10th to the 12th right here, 3,000 agents of our agents descending upon Dallas, Texas, and we're going to equip them with skills on how to become a better entrepreneur, how to be a better insurance professional, et cetera, et cetera. If you're constantly investing yourself after 12 months, if you really give it an honest effort, guess what's going to happen? You're going to learn so much more about money entrepreneurship, capitalism, free enterprise, you're going to have a much more solid opinion about what's going on in the world because you chose to focus on it, in this case, for 20 minutes a day. You focused on it for 12 months straight. And, uh, you know, for, for, for my observation of you, Milton, it's like, you know, I joke around with you at the gym because you, you, you move around 120-pound dumbbells like it's 25 pounds. I'm like, I'm dogging out at the gym. Like, <laughs> you're like, all right, here's this. Bro, you're carrying around like it's 20 pounds. Right? And, then, and then my back's hurting or my knees are hurting or ankles hurting. And he said, adjust this. Put this rubber band on. <laughs> Put yeah. this on. And I'm like, oh, my gosh, but that's so much better. How, like, how do you know all this stuff? And it's, you, about, about before you ran across me, you knew all this stuff because you were, how many years did you dedicate yourself to physical fitness, uh, to training and understanding, like, how the body works? Started in 09. Started in 09. And, and, and piggyback. But, but, uh, piggybacking off of what she said, and by the way, thanks. That's that's awesome. Oh, bro, it's thank, like, thank, thank. and by the you, way, you're a fluffy kid when you're, when you're I was growing a fluffy up. Fluffy kid. Luckily, we don't have any pictures of that. We're, yet. we're gonna Here. find some fluffy Eventually. pictures of you, bro. I'm more <laughs> those those were the days that mold me into who I am today. But no, man, um, find a skill, find a gift that you have within inside of you. Find that gift that God has given you. Find and find find that thing that you find purposeful and that you're really really good at, or that you feel that you can be good at. Find that one thing and reinvest time, energy, and money. And figuring out what skills you need to add to that specific gift, to that specific thing that you're trying to do. For example, in what, in what I do, you know, I took all the trades that I have, you know, clinical massage therapy, the, the physical therapy aspect, the counseling aspect, the personal training aspect, the exercise science aspect, and combined that into one thing, into the business aspect. Now, the only thing that I was lacking was business, because yeah. I was a great trainer, you know, you know, I was considered one of the top ones in, in, in the Midwest and X, Y, Z, and that was great, but I was making $40,000 well, a that's year. That's why I chose you. Making forty thousand dollars a year, right? And I, I had no idea how to do business. I had no mm -hmm. idea how to, how to close. I had no idea how to speak to someone. I had no idea how to come up with an irresistible, irresistible offer for all those who you know are in the product or service based <laughs> there you go. business. And then I had to adequate. I had to come up with new ways, new skills in the business realm, which I was able to learn off of Matt. I was able to learn off of a lot of Patrick's uh, content, other people's content. And then I started implementing that into my business. And that's when my business started growing, 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 growing. But you need to be able to find the skill sets that you need to add into what you're trying to do and invest time, energy, and money into it. And you'll see flourishing from that specific. Yeah. Um, here is, is a quick snippet from a series we got being released on a 7 Theory Squad YouTube channel with Ed Slat CPA, America's IRA expert from a recent event we had a couple months ago. Let's take a look at this. I'm a big believer, as you know, Roth IRAs, not for every client, but every client should have the conversation. You should have the conversation with every client to get into tax-free territory, to eliminate tax risk, and even the life insurance and the annuities to eliminate market risk. That's going to be a big problem. It, it seems to be a scam coming out all the time. You know, people want stability. They want trust. These things, especially life insurance, is something people can rely on. Uh, life insurance tends to be unaffected. I think it's because a lot of Congress has that. You can rely on it. Wall Street Journal called him the America's IRA expert. Uh, you want to talk about a guy that uh, has been done. And here's what I promise you. I told you at the beginning of the story what he told me uh, backstage. He says, Matt, because I was discussing with Cor across this creek because I ran into him in 2008 when I first started speaking on stage on, on, uh, on personal finance. He says, Matt, if you do the same thing, over and over and over and over again. You remember we talked about mastering something for 20 mm -hmm. minutes a day for, for a year. You'd be in the top 95% of your, of your, of your genre, your class, mm -hmm. about that subject matter. We well, said, Matt, if you do the same thing over and over and over and over again every day for the next 20 years, then you'll be an overnight success. <laughs> 20 years is an overnight success. 
the challenge we have today is get rich quick. I want to get rich quick today. Boom, one year, two years, three years. I want to, I want to make it. I want to make it. There's a lot of people in, in, in the financial creator space, in our space, in personal finance space. This is, you know what? The average personal finance influencer has about five to seven year lifespan on YouTube. And then they're out. The enjoyment's out, blah, 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 blah. You know why? A lot of these guys are doing it for money. A lot of these guys are doing it for fame, fortune, recognition. You know what we're not doing it for? That. Uh, by the way, I heard you're uh, kind of a celebrity in the Frisco, uh, in the Frisco uh, gym. People came up to you and said, hey, excuse me, uh, are you this guy on, on YouTube? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What, what happened? Tell us, tell us what happened there. It's actually happened a couple times. It, it, um, it happened at a grocery store, Sprouts and Carrollton, and it happened at Frisco where people just you, you just get, glance at someone and they, you can see it from the peripherals that people are staring at you, whatever. You know, looking down, my zipper's good, I'm, I'm all right. Some guy comes up and I'm like, hey, excuse me, sir. What's going on, man? Uh, is this you? <laughs> Let me see. Yeah, yeah, that's me. It's my, my guy, Matt. My man. Can we take a picture together? Nice. Yeah, sure. Yeah, that, that, nice. I'm not used to that. I'm not, I'm not yeah. used to your, to, your, to, your, to your status where we're, we go to your big events and I'm out here you know, being top flight security for you when we go to the big <laughs> events. I'm not used to that. So yeah. it, it's nice. And then every now, yeah. once in a blue moon, whenever I'm driving, yeah. I have my, my, my handle, my Instagram handle, my truck. I'm like, yeah, hey, follow, follow you on Instagram, man. I love I it. I watch your podcast with the guy, uh, Money Smart Guy. Yeah, I love yeah it's a good time, bro. It's a good time. By the way, um, you, we've been at the gym a couple times. How many times have kids, 16-year-olds, 17-year-olds? Kids. Come Teenagers. Up, come up to us. Yeah. Recognize that from YouTube. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So I'm like, yeah. It's happened to you a lot. That's it. Well, I'm just, I mean, just, been, I've been doing this for a minute. Yeah. But I'm glad it's happening to you, bro, because yeah. you, you have a voice, you have a demeanor, you have an example that the world needs to see. And so for the rest of you guys, I, uh, I want you to know, this is the Millionaire Goals podcast. It's going to be dedicated to help you thinking, strategizing, so therefore you become a first-generation cash flow millionaire. A lot of guys in our fold are improving their quality of life because they're thinking differently about money, they're acting differently about money, and the results they're creating are different than what they would have otherwise had in that follow this way of thinking. So if you like that clip, please watch this one right here. If you want to see the full podcast, click right here.